Well, hello, and, um, welcome back to Dark Souls. Today, I don't really know what we're gonna be doing. I haven't ran out of options completely. I mean, there's still a whole lot of things we can do. <laughs> the problem is, I just don't know which I want to actually tackle. Wings. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a winged item, but I could be wrong. I think, um, the first thing we're gonna do... You know what, I will still continue to give humanity to people that ask for it. Even though I have been sitting there before recording for like 30 minutes, just letting it run, and I still did not get a single humanity. Oh, again, um, I don't think it's gonna work for me. There are other ways to get humanity. But, how did you not, how did you not die? I'm gonna die to these two, aren't I? Say, I thought these guys died with one stab. I got a little bit cocky there. Hello, you tried Dark Wrath. Bonfire ahead. I think the Dark Wrath, that thing is telling um, the invaders that that's a good location to invade other characters at. And to brutally and mercilessly slaughter the newbies. Good luck. Indeed, you'll need it. Hmm. A cult. Don't know what that means either. I was kind of hoping that it was going to say... Um, illusory wall or something. Oh yeah. Got a little bit sidetracked. Kind of forgot what I was going to do for a second. Cause I was imagining something else that I wanted to do. But no, I came here. And um... We're gonna jump off this today. I know it. I know I can do it. Three, two... Not too early. Jump. There we go. Fire Link Shrine. And the question is, does this actually lead anywhere? I did jump up here before. On my first character. But I never found anything. Try rolling. I also didn't see this before. Try rolling to that. There's a chest. There's a couple chests down there. Three chests. I did get a kind of a clue that uh, my earlier hint about this place was actually accurate. So that's why I came back here. Holy shit. That actually was a good tip. Amazing. Okay. So, I don't want to fuck this up. I don't want to accidentally fall down somewhere. Gotta keep my footing. Could jump over there and loot that, but I'm gonna continue to climb up. If I die and come back, I'll try to fall down and get those chests. What is up here? Hey, there's some eggs. That looks like a hole on the roof leading down. I don't really know if I like going into a giant a bird's nest like this with the mama bird right down there. Let's do it anyways. Curl up like a ball. What? Stand up. If I can curl up like an egg. There's gotta be that has to do something. Is it timed? Um, are you gonna come do anything, bird? Maybe not. Okay, so that's used for something at some point. Interesting, at least. Hang on. I don't think there's anything up there. Curious. Okay, so maybe I can jump over there and get that, and then I can fall down over there and get those chests. There's also an item up there. Man. I'm probably gonna... I know I'm gonna fuck... I fuck everything up. I'm gonna fuck this up for sure, so... No. There we go. Undead Asylum F2 West Key. 
And dead asylum. That's where we first started at, I believe. I can fall down there. But I believe that I might... There's an item there. I believe I might have already been inside this building. I think it leads back to... Um, that covenant that I joined. Don't die. Ninja roll. Okay. So what do you got for me? A morning star and a talisman. And the talisman I know is used for casting magic. So I can now cast poison mist if I equip it. Homeward bone. Did I get six more of them? It's pretty damn impressive. And cracked red eye orb. There's got to be an, an illusory wall around here somewhere. Okay, well, let's see what this is. Homeward bone. Yeah, I know what those are. Repair powder. Where's my cracked? There we go. Invade another world? Defeat the master of the world you have invaded to acquire humanity. The cracked red eye orb allows players to temporarily imitate this ability normally limited to the dark wraths of Kath. Interesting. However, Hollows can't use it, and I haven't had a drop of humanity in ages now. Oh, cool, another chest. Oh, and it drops me down there, huh? Lloyd's Talisman. So basically, this little shortcut drops you into kind of, um, to a little area that gets you temporarily prepared for some PvP, for really low level PvP, I think. I didn't hit anything there, that was weird. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna check... Shit, I didn't want to do that. Run for it! Just get the hell out of here. There was a body up here. With an item, yeah, over there. I thought that I mapped it out, like, yep, I did. Didn't I already get this? I could have swore that I already looted this. Maybe I didn't. Soul of a Lost Undead. Whatever. I'll use it at some point. Don't know when. Comfort ahead. Yes, indeed. Try jumping. I think everybody should try jumping right there. Need jumping? Yes. Need humanity. Still got that message there. No one fucking cares, though. I'll give you humanity. Holy shit. Asshole! I didn't know you could follow me all the way here. That's crazy. Actually made me jump. Again, this game does that occasionally. I was not expecting that. Are there more of you? Poking your fucking skeleton heads around here? No. Let's rest. Oh, refill my health, get my um, flasks back. Did you see her? That virtuous little maiden, complete with followers in tow. They're probably going straight to pillage graves. I've heard enough about my lady for a lifetime. I don't know who he's talking about, my lady pillaging graves. The only graves I know are where we just landed. We could go explore it, but I don't know if things actually change like that. That guy is gone. Creepy dude, wonder where he went. Hello, you. Um, can you talk yet? No, of course not. It's just rude of me. I keep hoping, though. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything around here that I want to explore. Actually, yeah. No, wait, no. Yeah, hang on. I just want to verify this real quick. Running up here, dropping through the roof, takes us in there. Who are you guys? I wanted to make sure that this thing actually, that hole in the ceiling actually dropped down into here, and it does, but who are these guys? Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Goodbye? You can't leave yet. What are you guys doing? 
Are you the mumbling monks? I guess so. What about you? Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Oh, man. I'm gonna take his advice. I'm glad I talked to him. I'm going to take his advice and, um... I'm guessing that that lady in white kneeling down there was the mistress of the graveyard or whatever that guy was talking about. And, um... I think we're gonna meet her with some humanity here. I don't know why I ran back to the bonfire. Oh, god damn it. I think that's why, yeah, that's right. I don't just need humanity, I need to reverse myself here. Go. Oh, precious, precious humanity. I dislike that. I dislike the fact that it is so precious and rare. For me. Let's see what this guy says now. Do I look better? I, I put some stuff on my skin. Oh, you again. What business have you? Don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. I'm just curious what you guys are up to. I've been around this place for a while, you see. You are undead as well. And we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission, and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. What are you talking about? Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Well, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. The catacombs aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again, uh -huh. rarely or not. So, they are going to go to the catacombs. <laughs> Which is interesting, because I've already cleared most of the hard stuff down there oh, for you slackers. Hello. Miracles, I presume? Yes, I know. No. Can I injure your covenant? Yeah, I think I already belong to his covenant. Come again. Okay. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. I wish you guys luck in the catacombs. Um, I've destroyed a lot of the hard shit there. You don't have to worry about the skeletons constantly respawning now, but there's some surprises. Waiting for you. Um, I think what we're gonna do is, I'm not yet ready to go to Blight Town. Even though I believe that all signs are pointing that I go there next, we're gonna go down to these uh, ruins here, and I kind of want to poke around in them for a bit. I haven't explored it. I don't want to do a bit of exploring. Because my other option is that I know of. Be wary of fall. The other option that I know of is to um, go to Blight Town and fight the spider. Which I really don't want to do. And I'm pretty sure that the next bell that I need to ring is down there too. From all the signs and riddles we've been told. Just take it nice and slow down here. I've never been down here before. First time I came through, this is all I did. That little loop. I did not explore any further than this, and it's actually kind of scary. Especially with all of these guys just standing around. And I'm in human form, which means I could be invaded too in this place, I think. Oh boy, water. We've all seen what water does so far. I didn't actually want to hit that guy. Damn it. Transient curse. Did not like the sound of that. Oh boy. I'm gonna lose this my humanity so quick. It's just gonna be like one thing jumping out of the water knocking me off. What's that? 
thought I heard something. Getting a little bit creeped out down here. Uh, gotta stay focused. Um, what the hell are you? I did not. I. Holy shit. I don't think I even hit that thing. Holy crap. No, I didn't. Get out of there. Run. I don't think my weapon is effective against him. I know for a fact that I hit him at least twice there and my weapon just went right through him. Okay. I would have to say that my um, hunches about this place were 100% correct. It is a fucking nightmare. Hello, you. I'm guessing I need some type of special weapon for it. Estoc. Are the ghosts following me? Like, can I run here and be safe? I don't see them flying anywhere. Okay. We explored this place. <laughs> I would say the journey was a, a great success. I now know not to come back ever again. Which means... Oh, we're going to Blight Town, guys. I really wanted to avoid it and put it off for just a little bit more, but I can't. Could go fight some drakes, maybe. I don't think I've ever actually properly tried to tackle one of those things. And if all else fails, if for some reason I cannot defeat Blight Town here. I wouldn't say it's a tough enemy. These guys are pretty easy. They're a little bit slow. Try luring it out. I'm actually going to go two-handed with these guys, too. And also, I managed to somehow just get one of them. I haven't used two-handing my weapon at all in this Let's Play because I've been so dependent on my shield. There. Can I backstab? Holy crap. Can backstab 252. That's pretty good. Let's not get too close to his buddy there. Thankfully, he's still a little bit slow. These guys would actually be good to farm if you were into that kind of thing. Just because of how slow and dumb they are, and how much experience they give. That was awesome. Give me a dung. I'm gonna pull it out of your intestines with my own hand. That's how I do it here. Scoop it out fresh. Two scoops. Come here. I can probably just dance around these guys now. Completely just decimate them, is my guess. Provided I don't get cornered. Come on. Stabby again? Awesome. My main concern coming down here is going to be all the poison again. Stab. I'm gonna kill all of you guys because you were just such a good experience. And I do have enough arrows now, actually. That, um. Oh, I did not. S I want my shield. Please give me my shield back. <laughs> I might have enough arrows now to kill that large maggot thing that is hugging the wall as soon as we enter this place, too. Stab. Just shut your mouth. I saw you trying to. S Yell your stink at me. Keep it in your mouth. Imminent tears. This place isn't that bad. It sucks. Be wary of strong poison. Nah. Be wary of fatty. I was like, I could upvote that. But I will let people figure out that the poison sucks all on their own. Because it does. And I, if I remember correctly, there should be an ugly bastard right here. Yes, and I see you there. Another floor fly. Get off of me. I don't like it when they attach to my feet. I don't know why. It doesn't, it doesn't really gross me out or creep me out, it's just, um... 
that's unsettling. They're dead. Stay that way. Hello, you. you worthless little flies. I'm not sure what they are. Mosquitoes? We're gonna explore this area, though. I don't believe... Oh, shit. We are so dead. So dead. So dead. Better move it. I need to really catch up to... Oh, God. I'm toxic. Okay. I'm gonna kill these guys first before I die. I didn't want to do that, but okay. Oh, I should have made it down to the bonfire first. Oh, boy. Before attempting all of this, that's what I should have done. But no, if you kill those guys, they don't respawn. So I really wanted to just kind of suicide run them while I could. Which, um, obviously did not work. Now how the hell do I get back there? I see you, ghost. Those player ghosts always kind of just throw me off. Okay. There might actually be even in... How did this person die? I bet you... I bet you they fucked with this guy right here. He's not someone to trifle with. Either that or they got ambushed by skeletons. Or they just died standing there, I don't know. Not everyone goes down fighting, you know. Oh, wait, this guy's back. Or you, maybe he was gone because I had humanity, I don't know. Well, where have you been? Everywhere. I'm glad to see you're safe. I bet you are. Have any other stories for have me? You heard of trusty patches. If ever a man has rubbed me up the wrong way. <sighs> If he ever comes around again, I swear, I'll have his hide. Huh, you know, I happen to dislike Rusty Patches, kind of, since the asshole tried to kill me. <laughs> you again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Now, it's it makes me wonder, now. what would happen if I was to kill Trusty Patches for him? He's obviously shown he dislikes Trusty Patches. Um, I don't know if the game actually works like that. Um, if that's how it gives you the story, kind of, I guess. But... If I see Trusty Patches again, he might die. Or I might at least fight him. I have no reason to really like Trusty Patches. I mean, he killed me. Or almost did, anyways. And he, he killed someone else because that, their death saved me. If it hadn't been for that blood stain, I would have rushed head headlong over that bridge. So he is not a very honorable man. And I'm going to assume that the guy up in Firelink Shrine and the blood gold armor is probably not very reliable either. But sometimes you just have to make decisions. No, I want out I want out of here. That's my decision here. New Londo Ruins. Not worth exploring because I don't have a death sentence. Also, I'm not going to fight these ogre things here. I'm just going to run past them. Already fought them, what, two or three times now? And what I'm going to do is maybe. I'm thinking about it now. I might just sprint all the way down to the bonfire. You guys are slow. Give it up. Even the mosquitoes have a better chance of hitting me than you do. What those guys are probably going to do is follow me here. And then, um, like, jump down on top of me and kill me. Whenever I least expect it. Here they come. The scary assholes. Hopefully they can't climb ladders. I really doubt that they do. Lock on, quick. And, it, well... Oh, man. The question, the question, the question. Do I run down to the bonfire and save it there? Yes, I do, because I also want to kill the spider bitch. 
at some point tonight. I'm hoping that this will be a fairly long session. Don't fucking thrust your way off. I love doing things like that. No! Come on! I'm gonna be killed by mosquitoes. Face the bastards. I miss my scimitar! Please don't suicide. It's not an option. Quit it. I cannot hit these fucking things. Just try to take a drink. You're completely fucking worthless in combat with these things because they have just a little bit of altitude. And this sword is, um... God damn it. There we go. You asshole. Yeah, this is Plump getting frustrated. This is about as bad as it gets most of the time. God motherfucking damn it. <laughs> oh. I'm not giving up. Nope. We're going back down there. I'm gonna get to that bonfire. I'm gonna kill those blow dart guys. Every death is just another mark on the wall that um, urges me to do better next time. Even though I would really like to stop doing this run. And my souls are gone from the previous death. Even though it was only like 3,000, it still adds up. I've probably lost as many souls in this series as I've used. I would imagine. Not a very good way to advance. Okay. So... I should be getting pretty good at hurting myself in stupid ways, but uh, I should be getting pretty r good at doing this by now. If you do these runs enough, you can probably get to the point where you can just do them with your eyes closed. Like everything in life, the more time and effort you put into it, the um, better you get at it. Hang on. I'm actually going to equip my scimitar. Because... Because I'm not going to be killed by those damn mosquitoes again just because I can't fucking thrust up at them. That was insane. And slightly embarrassing. <sighs> Could have done so much better. A little bit of panic set in, it seemed like backed off into a corner. I'm trying to run the events through my mind here. Know what I did wrong so I can fix it. First off, let's kill this guy this time without almost getting hit. Just a jab. Hello, floor fly. Yeah, see this sword? It's good, but up close... It's just not that good for anything that is below you or above you. You can thrust directly in front of you, but that is it. Which I believe is the entire point of a thrust. Okay. There's some souls. And more flies. Okay. Get, get the trustworthy sword out. It's been a while since I've used your sword. There we go. Only does 90 damage, but still. It's got that beautiful swing to it. And yeah, we're gonna make it this time. No more games. Switch back. Switch back to my Balder sword. There we go. It's because that thrust is so beautiful. Whenever it works. Whenever it doesn't, though. All hell goes. Breaks loose. Three, two, one. 